prayed in the spirit. It was a fresh baptism of power. It was so powerful. It was so awesome. And, and can I tell you, that week, that week of revival was one of the greatest weeks that I ever saw. I saw a girl that was a lesbian totally set free by the power of God. We saw the gifts of the Spirit in demonstration. I saw another young man addicted to alcohol, that broken in, in, in drugs, broken in his life, totally broken by the anointing. We saw the gifts in demonstration. We saw other people healed. What was it? It was the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, church, we need a fresh Pentecost. Can I tell you, I don't care how long you've been baptized, you can pray in tongues every day of your life. We need to stay full. Why? We leak. We leak. Amen. You say, well, I've been baptized speaking in tongues. We ought to want more of his power every day of our life. You know why? Because you don't know who you're going to face that morning that needs what you have. And if I'm not full, I can't give of something I don't have. you say, well, that'll be me. Sure, because you're going to be the one that's got to say it. 
God's not going to take your tongue and, and, and take your vocal cords and make you speak out. He gives you the utterance and you hear it down in your spirit and you just speak that out with your natural uh, speaking ability. You speak that out unto the Lord and you're gloriously baptized. Amen. Amen. Are you ready? Why don't you just lift your hands? If you want to, you don't have to. And that goes for all of us here today. And if someone is there behind, behind, if a lady would like to come lay a hand on a lady, a man behind a man, and come, someone come lay hands on uh, our two friends right here, and just lay a hand on them, just lay a hand on them, and, and we're going to pray. And after I pray, now wait, don't start praying for them yet. I'm going to pray over them, and after I pray over them, I want you to start praying in the Spirit. I want you to start praying in the Spirit, not loudly. But we're just going to agree together with them. And God is going to fill them with the Holy Spirit. He's here. Hallelujah. Thank you. Holy Spirit, you ready? Amen. Father, we just ask you right now, every man, woman, boy, and girl, every young person that desires the baptism of the Holy Spirit, Jesus, you died that we might have it. It is our inheritance according to the Word of God. Father, I ask you, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you would baptize Jesus, every single one, in the Holy Spirit. Be baptized in the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Now come on, just start praising Him. That's it, right? Holy Spirit's all over you. It may be a syllable, it may be a few words, but it's the Holy Spirit. You speak out what he gives you, and he'll give you more. Let's see it. Come on, just open your mouth, begin to praise him, just begin to love him. Just begin to praise him and love him. You gotta open your mouth to drink. Just, you'll have to open your mouth and begin to praise Him and love on Him. From out of our innermost being. In Jesus' name, be filled with the Holy Spirit. Oh, I'll be filled with the Holy Ghost. Receive your prayer language in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lord, fill us afresh. Fill us afresh. In Jesus' name. Lord, fill us with your power. In Jesus' name. That's all you can do. Yield yourself and believe. Nobody can feel it. You gotta want it. You gotta be hungry for it. Come on. Let's see it. Let's see it. Don't say it. Let's see it. That's it. That's it. She got it. Let's see it. Hallelujah. God just filled Brianna with the Holy Ghost. People are getting filled with the Holy Spirit down here. What he's done for somebody else, he'll do for every single one. Hallelujah.